All right guys, so we're here to talk about reputable sources. You're probably watching this video because you're confused on what a reputable source is. How can I find reputable sources on the internet if I'm writing a scientific research paper or just trying to find good resources? Very simply, you can use the following sites with the following endings, .edu, .gov, or a peer-reviewed scientific journal like Nature or Science. Now don't be confused because sometimes these journals do have web address endings like .com or .org, but those specifically are okay. Now let's go through the steps of how to find some good reputable sources on the internet and how to avoid those that are not reputable. So where do we start? Say I want to research uh, if music affects athletic performance. If you play cool music, do athletes perform better? So the thing I don't want to do is just Google how does music affect athletic performance. That's not going to get us the best sources right off the bat. So a lot of these you can see are .com, and they, you know, might have good information, but they're not reputable as, or as reputable as we want them to be. So a good place to look is a place called Google Scholar. Now this is going to be a database of a lot of peer-reviewed papers or things published in peer-reviewed journals. So we can get rid of the question and just type in our keywords, music and athletic performance. We'll do a search. We can go over to this side and click for recent articles. So I'm going to do for, since 2010 and um, look at our results. And we see a lot of good things on here, papers that have been published on exactly what we are looking for, published by real scientists and uh, hopefully published in good peer-reviewed journals. Now if we click on one that seems interesting, we can go and actually look at the journal it was published in. I'm not familiar with this journal, so I might want to do a little bit more research to see what it's about. Um, always be skeptical of the sources, even if it does look like a peer-reviewed journal article. Something with several authors or published by university is always a good place to start. Another good way to look is go to advanced search um, and we can type in a journal that we specifically want to look for. So we can go to re, uh, results with articles published in Nature because we know that's a good, reputable, peer-reviewed journal. And these are all the articles in Nature that pertain to the keywords we posted and we can do any time in search and look at all the results that we get. Now, another good way to look for reputable sources on the internet, we can type in Google site colon dot edu and then type in our search parameters. So site colon dot edu is going to give us results only from edu websites. Um, and we can look at all the results that come up and know that these are reputable because they are from universities. And we can do the same thing for .gov sites. So site colon .gov music athletic performance, and we can see things published by the National Institutes of Health. Um, all these good, uh, all these are good resources for um, scientific information. Okay, lastly, where do we never want to go for sources? Wikipedia. So here's the Wikipedia page for exercise and music, but what you can do is scroll down to the bottom to the references. You see an article from the New York Times, yeah, that might be okay, but then there's something from an actual published paper. So we can use the references within Wikipedia to actually look at good peer-reviewed information. Um, so here we're gonna look at this journal article, and um, it actually linked back to the article we already found, and then there's another one in Journal of Psychology and Sport Exercise, which is another good uh, peer-reviewed journal. So Wikipedia, I don't want you to use getting your information from there, but you can use it as a starting point to find these good, reputable sources. All right, so I hope this video has helped you in trying to find the right sources for your scientific research. Go get them.